Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to graph the feasible region for certain constraints. So here I go. A local pet rescue group has a total of 30 cages that can be used to hold cats and dogs. Let x equal to number of cages for cats, y equal to number of cages for dogs. Part A, write a set of inequalities to express the fact that the number of dogs and cats cannot be negative. So, let's do part A. X is number of cages for cats. Y is equal to number of cages for dogs. So, write a set of inequalities to express the fact that the number of cats and dogs cannot be negative. So x will be greater than 0, y will be also greater or equal to 0. That means both of them cannot be negative. Part B. So we also know the total number of cages available for cats and dogs is limited to 30. So x plus y should be less equal to 30. Okay. So that's part B. Okay. So uh, let's uh, grab this for part C. So let's uh, reduce this a little bit and let's move this a little bit up. So x plus y less equal to 30, x greater equal to 0, y greater equal to 0. So, so we have constraints are x greater equal to 0, y greater equal to 0, and x plus y less equal to 30. Okay, or if I subtract x on both sides, y is less equal to 30 minus x. Okay, so when x is 0, y is less equal to 30, and when y is 0, 0 less equal to 30 minus x, or add, add x on both sides, x is uh, less equal to 30. So with this information, we can plot. Okay, so now we know x is 0, y is less equal to 30, and x less equal to 30 when y is 0. Okay. Okay. So let me draw the horizontal and the vertical axis. This is x, this is y. Let's assume this is 10, this is 20, and this is 30. Similarly, this is 10, and this is 20, and this is 30 on the horizontal axis. Okay. So this is the point zero, zero. So when x is equal to zero, y is less equal to 30. Okay. And when y is zero, x is less equal to 30. So, this is your constraint okay so let me uh, maybe i can clear this up and draw it again 
Okay. So I just joined. Oops. Why am I getting over this? Oh, I don't want that. So, I know what happened. I'll take care of this, don't worry. This is the line x plus y equal to 30. So if I change the color of the ink to blue, we are limited to this area. And we know we have to be, we have to satisfy x plus y less equal to 30 and and x greater or equal to 0 oops Sorry. and x greater or equal to 0 and y greater or equal to 0 so we are here in this area x plus y less equal to 30 and x greater or equal to 0 and y greater or equal to 0. So this is the area of interest, this area. Below the line and in the first quadrant so that both x and y are greater or equal to 0. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. My channel, Math Science Topia. I have solved all kinds of math problems just for you. So please subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to check me out tomorrow when I will come back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.